I'm Vinny Politan. Thank you so much for joining us tonight here on Closing Arguments. Think back to when COVID struck. It's 2020. It's early 2020. And all of a sudden, we were locked down. Supposed to be two weeks. Ended up being a little bit longer, right? But America is locked down. And what are we doing? You know, we're doing things we haven't done in years. We're, we're having family meals. We're talking to each other. We're seeing each other all day long. Then at night, a lot of Americans sat down and watched or binged Netflix. And there was one show that just struck a chord with this nation. Tiger King. It was, it was unlike anything we've ever seen. And, and it's happening in the midst of a pandemic unlike we've ever seen. And it was like, what is going on in the world? What, I mean, nobody's going to work and we're all watching this? And, and this, this man exists. Joe Exotic, who is he? Where did he come from? It, 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 was, it was the most bizarre time of our lives. Now, as wildly entertaining as that show was, um, for the star of it, Joe Exotic, he ended up in federal prison. Serious charges. And, and you see it unravel through the course of this docuseries, for those of you who hadn't, haven't seen it. But at the end of the day, he has his arch nemesis, Carol Baskin, and him, and they're just going at it, and he ends up charged with the attempted murder of this woman. And we watch it play out in this series. It's unreal. But it was real, and it was a real federal trial, and he was really convicted and really sentenced to 22 years in prison. He appealed this sentence. He won. So what did he win? He, he, he won a new sentence, which was like one year less, 21 years. So now Joe Exotic is locked up. But today he called me up in my office, and we spoke for a while. Take a listen. Let me let me ask you first. Um, health wise, that's a big issue. Are are you are you dying right now of cancer? Are you battling cancer? What exactly is is your health situation, Joe? Well, you know, I, I have CVID, which, which which is the big kicker. It's it's common variable immune disease, and I don't have an immune system and. Then I'm, I'm battling hemoglobin anemia on top of that. So every four weeks, I have to get blood. And now I'm diagnosed with prostate cancer. And they're wanting to do 45 straight days of radiation and uh, or, or surgery. And I'll never make surgery. Uh, I actually have, have been on the phone and, and talked to Dr. Drew, uh, you know, the celebrity. I know Drew. And, yeah, and he recommended that I don't do anything because my system can't handle, handle any of it. Uh, and see, when I got my biopsy done in Fort Worth at the hospital there, because of my CVID, I got so septic just from the biopsy that the marshals had to call for an ambulance at the prison and, and have me admitted to the hospital for IV antibiotics and stuff. But, so so let know, me ask you, let me ask you, based upon, was that your your real reason that you believe that you should be released from, from prison now is because of, uh, almost out of mercy, because of the state of your health? Well, no, I mean, I, 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 you know, I've been to the hospital 43 times in three years. <laughs> Uh, and it's it's pretty bad, and, and I'm pretty skinny, and I look I, I think I look pretty bad, but you know I, I don't want out just because I'm sick, or I am because I'm innocent too. Okay, so l l let's let's talk a little bit about um, what happened. You you were able to go back to court to be resentenced, and not much of a, a of a reduction. It was it a reduction of one year? Yeah. So, yeah. your reaction to what happened in court? Well, I mean, the lawyers prepared me for it uh, because we knew that, that they, were, they were out to get me. Uh, when you say they, who's they? Who's, who's they? That's the, the assistant U.S. attorney and, and the Federal Wildlife Service agent uh, is just hell-bent on keeping me in prison. Uh, but, 
you know, they said that it was a formality that had to happen before we could file for a new trial or a dismissal for, uh, you know, a Rule 2255, which is ineffective assistance of counsel. And my team of lawyers, I've got a damn good team of lawyers right now. Uh, John Phillips and Molly Palmer and Amy Hanna and everybody out of Oklahoma and John and Molly, I know very, very well through the years. They've been on my programs yeah, countless times. I, I know the work they do. So let me ask you this. And let me ask you this, because this is people who have obviously gotten to know you by watching the series and, and seeing you on, on Netflix. Why do you think that you're in prison and Carol Baskin is out roaming free? Okay, well, I can I can tell you what, and, and it's it's pretty... Yes. Okay. I'm, a, I'm basically a political prisoner to the Big Cat Safety Act. That, that's why Carol had me put in prison. Uh, when when President Trump was ready to leave office, she even went public and said, "I'll help Joe get a pardon if he would support the Big Cat Safety Act and rat on all of his friends." Okay. So, you know, in 2019, when I was facing uh, trials, she was fearful for her life, okay, to get me in prison. Once I'm in prison, then she's not scared of me anymore and wants me to get a pardon by extorting me and blackmailing me if I would support the Big Cat Safety Act. And then Friday in court again, because I won't support the Big Cat Safety Act because it's truly the worst thing that can happen for big cats in America. Now I'm, I'm the, the scariest thing on the planet to her again. Uh, so seriously, I'm 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 in prison. I've got sentenced for 21 years, uh, dying. Uh, so you can't pet a baby tiger in America. So is is there anything you would? But looking back on on the way that things have turned out for you, right? Obviously, I, I would you rather be famous or free? Would I rather be what? Famous like you are right now or free like you aren't oh, right now? You, you know, and, and to finish answering the other question, what would I do different? I, I would never have, have built a zoo because being a target of the animal rights of people is, is crazy absurd. You, you can't do anything right, okay? Carol Baskin's open to the public. She exploits tigers back for money. Uh, she operates them on them for, for uh, up to pull on hard strings on the internet for donations. Joe had tigers. He was open to the public. He didn't, he didn't operate them or do anything like that, but he did breed them and let you play with baby tigers. Okay, so what was, what was the difference? Hey, what's the difference between me and PETA? PETA euthanizes nearly every animal they get a hold of, okay? It's just they have money to pick on me and I don't have money to pick back. Okay, so I would never have opened a zoo and if I get out of here, I will never have another exotic animal in my life. Okay, then, then you ask me, would I rather be famous or be free? I would rather be free because being famous has done nothing but destroy my life. How about for you? Is there anything you need to, to change for you, to make yourself a better person? You ever thought thought you know, about I, it that way? Hey, uh, th this is this has made me a better person uh, because I see people in prison that really don't deserve to be in prison. Uh, what what we do to people and uh, human beings is outrageous. Uh, I I had animals in cages. Now I know exactly how my animals feel. I should have made my employees and myself go sit in a cage for an entire day and see just how much they waited on me and how much I enjoyed my life because it's worse in prison. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in a cell with no TV, no radio, no nothing. It's just four walls and it drives you mentally crazy. And when I get out of here, because I will get out of here, when I get out of here, I'm going to be the biggest advocate animals in cages. I don't care if it's a hamster or a betta fish in a bowl. 